It's important to feel comfortable about ourselves. It aligns your current situation and your aim. What it is like to have no friends, and can we live a life without friends? To be honest, I have no close friends for the last couple of years. Talking about it feel internally embarrassed, but this is the truth. What is it like without friends? What are the good and the bad things about not having friends? Can we live without friends? And how will I cope with it? What is my story? I'm now 29 years old. During my school time, I was always having friends. At that time, we have a lot of things to do together, like go to school, go to lunch and dinner, to do extracurricular activity and have fun. I'm being pretty easygoing, and people come to me, so we have a long-lasting friendship. At that time, I was low-key happy doing things with friends, a lot of parallel activities, so we can accompany each other and do our own thing, like study and extracurricular activities. There was literally little drama or no drama, so I'm pretty grateful for that. But the relationship is more like not very deep, but neither very shallow. We do a lot of activities together. We talk about the common things, the people, and our situation, but not like talking about life or something very deep. That's a very grateful and wonderful experience. I'm so happy with them, but I'm sorry. At the same time, it's also okay to live without that friendship, that circumstances. So after school, it makes me pretty easy to move on to another city or even another country. My background is that I had till college in China, and take my graduate school in the United States. I always loved the friendship and relationship before moving. During my graduate school, I had a much smaller group of friends. Finishing the graduate school is not very easy for me. For example, this is the first time I went abroad. I didn't speak the language very well. There is a lot of cultural differences, cultural shock. I don't even have a lot of similarities with people from my home country, but I still got some friends with the same situation of me. Those relationship, in my personal point of view, was much stronger because we share more similarities. We can talk about more like isolation, cultural shock, and yeah, more deep conversations. But unfortunately, we are initially from very different countries, very different background. We didn't share so much aims, and we separated after the graduation. After that, it was the time I went to work. I moved from the Southern California to Northern. I don't have close friends, but neither lonely. I have much, much more acquaintance than friends. For example, my landlord, my roommates, classmates, and also like my coworkers and managers, boss. But that is more like more casual friendship. We are nice to each other, but not like friends. We don't share so much with each other. This was not so bad, but when I have some thoughts and difficulties, I cannot find someone to talk with. That is the situation. So this is my situation. How do I feel with the situation? Do I feel very lonely? Actually, not really. One reason is I still have some acquaintance. We have good relationship. And also, I enjoy doing things alone. I believe, like not only me, but also you. If you are losing friends because moving to another city, there's a lot of new things to do and to share. I don't feel lonely, but there are some bad feelings. One of it is it isn't aligned with the societal values. Like people say, everyone has friends, but I do not. So sometimes I can be worried, like. Am I outdated, or am I isolated from the society? Am I left behind? Will I lose the interpersonal ability by being in the situation for long? And another thing I noticed is, I was more likely to think so much because we don't have a lot of things happens, a lot of people in our interaction happens.、Uh, for example, if today there's one person talk something. Bad about me personally. 
I will feel strong emotion about it because I don't have so much people interaction. I I don't have a friend to talk about it to share it. Or we can say if we don't share, we don't interact. It's more easy to stuck with one point. Actually, during the pandemic, I had a conflict with the company and my manager, and I'm not able to share it with someone else. I keep stuck in that emotion for a long time, much longer than I think. This also leads to the next point: we might be more fragile, and we bear more risk, whether emotionally or physically. When we live in a group of people, we can. Share each other's emotional burden and help each other. But now you see, our choices left us less chance about that. So this is me. I'm occasionally feel bad, occasionally feel sensitive and afraid of being left behind. Is there anything good? One thing I want to share is we need to celebrate it. Sometimes I suspect I was left behind. When I think about it deeper, is initially my choice and my option. So I put down that friendship to have more freedom and exploration to the world. So this is my situation, and it's also you. We are always having choice, and it's the leader of our life. For example, we may trying to put down a wrong relationship to prioritize self care and inner peace. So this is a moment we have no close friends, and maybe we want more work success, more exploration to the world. We want to go deeper to our hobby, so we don't emphasize the relationship and friendship so much. That also happen. I know it sometimes can be not easy, and we are not very confident. But yeah, it is your choice, your option, and you are the leader. It aligns your current situation and your aim. And all the tough decisions need to be celebrated. Like we said, when it's not aligned with the societal values, it's more aligned to our own happiness and value. I also learned to recognize the value of break down something. For example, to drop out, to give up, to break up, to divorce. Those are all the things need to celebrate because we go one step further to our true self. It has good and bad. But can we live a life without friends? You may feel surprised.、Mm, yes, why not? So this is my opinion. Maybe very extreme. When we have food to eat, clothes to cover, and a healthy body, we can take other things more lightly. There are not so much things can do or can't do, but it's your option and your choice. So live a life without friends is something we can handle and. If you like, you can keep with it. If you are not, you have the option to change. So we have the choice of our life. We choose our better life. So what will I do for this situation? The first thing is to think about it more lightly. It's important to feel comfortable about ourselves. Like we said, we have the food to eat, healthy body, and clothes to cover. I don't want to say loneliness is a good thing or a bad thing, but we are adequate and abundant. Why not be happy? Why not take it more lightly? The next thing I still like to make more、uh, people connections in the future. Actually, my situation is not very easy to find close friends. Where I'm changing my phase of life and stage of life, I'm even thinking about starting a second bachelor's degree. So there are a lot of life change, but. I would like to make more people connection, be nice with all the people I met. For example, my neighbors, my landlord, my coworkers, and also strangers and people who help me, people who serve me, and people I served. Joining some interest group and community activities. The third thing I was thinking of is be true to ourselves. Although、uh, not having friends is not aligned with the societal value, but it's good for my personal growth. It's good for my aim. So if that's the case, or you feel hurt, or you like to be alone, so it can be your optimal choice. We can definitely recognize it. Even if I have no friends anymore, and I'm trying to make new friends. We can still keep our own boundaries. We neither need to feel obligated or responsible, but making friendships something beautiful and make us happy. 
So this is my story. What about yours? Please don't hesitate to share it down below in the comments. I will and other people also will read your message, talk to you, and feel you and understand you better. Yeah, and if you like today's topic, feel free to give me a like and subscribe and comment down below to let me know so that I can make more of the similar content. Thank you so much for listening. I will always be here and I will see you again soon.